got finished in painting class and now I'm about to pick up a package because I have more stickers. In painting class, I have a lot of things going on. It's really exciting. I have two paintings that I started last week and then I also started like three more paintings, just the base layer with the excess paint. Package secured. These are everything. Let me get some light. People are right outside my window. I'm gonna go now. So since I just released stickers like super recently, um, I think I might wait until like next week to release these holographic stickers, but they are coming. I'm super excited about them. I can't stop, like just, just look at it. Gives baby a all night. class is headed out to an art museum for an artist talk this evening. The art museum is The Hunter in Chattanooga and they have this exhibit called Southbound that I've actually really been wanting to check out and that is what the artist talk is going to be on so I'm actually pretty excited. I might try to get some videos of the talk for you guys. Guys, Gatlinburg. Gatlinburg. Oh. <laughs> We're going skiing. Woo! Yay! Yay. Yay. <laughs> so this weekend was a big girls ski trip. There were 18 girls in total. We left on Friday around like 2 or 3 p.m. If I was the sunshine, fist fight every storm. Let the whole world freeze If it might not keep you warm Cause all I need Is your smile, nothing more But if I couldn't have it, love I'd let the whole world pour I loved When we got there at this little cute cabin Airbnb place And we ate pizza that night And we played like little get to know you games We played ping pong We uh, played ping pong, and let's see what else did we do that night. Hi, my name's Sabrina. And we're in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Ski Year 2020! <laughs> so on Saturday, we woke up and decided to get a quick breakfast and then go to this little town, a touristy town, like five minutes or so away from us. So we are going skiing today, but first, we're exploring whatever town this is. It's Old Forge Plaza. Old Forge Plaza. Why? 
was only halfway to life when you caught me in the corner of my eye. Beautiful. Angel, straight. Hi. <laughs> oh, it's a video. <laughs> we just decided to go there and walk around for a little while. We took some pictures. We visited some shops and just kind of browsed. Um, it was really fun, really nice to just walk around. And the weather was actually pretty nice too. It wasn't too cold. There were two girls in our group who knew how to square dance. So we had this random moment in the parking lot of just like learning how to square dance. It was kind of a cute, slightly cringy moment, but mostly cute and it was really fun. You once in the cold and dimming dust, cold and dimming dust glow. Cold and dimming dust. Then we decided to quickly go back to the cabin, get a quick lunch, and then head out to Gatlinburg to go skiing. Whoa, 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 whoa. The process of getting there, getting everybody together and organized, getting all signed up, signing waivers, uh, buying the equipment, getting the equipment on, waiting some more, like it took a really, really long time. And while we got there around like three, we only ended up skiing starting at like 5 or 5 30 and we had like an hour long ski lesson which we obviously very much needed because most of us don't know how to ski and so he just taught us the very very basics so once we were done with that ski lesson then he let us go and practice by ourselves for a little bit on this tiny little you can't even really call it a hill but it did go down and so you could pick up some speed on there and practice turning and controlling and stopping and so we did that for a while but all of us pretty much wanted to go on an actual slope before we left. We wanted to at least try it. And so we decided to finally go on the big kids hill. It's the easiest one, so I can't even really call it that, but it was a big deal for us. So we got on the ski lift. I was actually the first one out of my little group that had gone on the ski lift. I realized that my jacket pocket was open. And I knew that my phone was in there and I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to close that pocket It wasn't really easy to close my pocket at that moment So I was just gonna wait until I got on the snow and um, stood at the top of the hill to close it However, things don't always go as planned. The moment I got off the ski lift I slid a little ways and fell. The whole thought of me needing to close my jacket pocket completely escaped my mind and I forgot it was even there. I got up after falling, went over to the top of the hill and I just decided to go for it. Got about halfway down that first hill and wiped out. And I think it was on that first wipeout that I lost my phone out of my pocket, didn't realize it. Once I finally got up again, I skied some more, went around a curve, fell again. That one I skid, I skidded, skidded? I slid a lot. One of my skis came off when I fell and it was like up the hill a little way so I had to carefully go get my ski to make sure nobody else ran into me. Put that back on, stood up carefully again. You keep going down that hill that I fell on and then you turn and you join this other hill that was like the main hill. And I joined that hill and I was doing fine. I was like turning and trying to control my speed by going side to side. But then when I decided to try to slow down, I fell again. So I wiped out a total of three times and I would have loved to go again honestly. I, I did want to try it again but that is when I realized that my phone was no longer there. Ever after that moment it was just stressful. There were a few people in our group who were more experienced so they went up several times for me, looked for it, kept an eye out, nowhere to be found. We checked with lost and found but yeah at the moment no phone, no driver's license no debit card because I keep all of those things in the back of my phone. After standing in the cold for a long time waiting for my phone situation to get figured out, waiting for people to get down the slopes and be done with skiing and getting off my ski boots, getting off my skis and then we, we went down the tram and drove back to the cabin. Um, we had Chipotle waiting for us which was so good. I was so hungry by that point spur of the moment decision, we all decided to go to this place called the island, which is kind of a carnival-ish 
attraction in Gatlinburg. It has like a big Ferris wheel and an arcade. Then it also has just a lot of stores and like food places. It was pretty much a ghost town when we got there because I guess everything was closed. There were like a couple of people that we saw like once. <laughs> and then we also went into the arcade and they didn't tell us to leave but it was clearly like they were wanting to close up so we just stayed in there while they were like cleaning things and took some photos because what else do you do in an arcade kind of a cool experience just to walk around and have nobody around you in a place that usually would have a lot of people and it was a really good ending to the weekend and then we drove back and it is now monday and i've already been to my first class and i'm living life without a phone and i'm about to go eat you guys go I just wanted to show you my newest sticker collection and let you guys know that they are indeed up for sale the link is in the description um, go check them out guys I'm really excited about this collection I call it the artist hands because you know their hands and they're my hands and I'm the artist so anyways anyways okay bye guys <laughs>